Now, you are going to go into a huge glimpse of my childhood because, like I said in the Super Nintendo playthrough, I had this game when I was a kid. And I got it for Christmas in 1994 because uh, I asked for it. Um, I also got a Game Boy that year, but that's another story. <laughs> um, but this was the game that I played the most when I was a young kid. Being the Power Ranger fan that I was, I would almost play this almost every single day. And uh, a lot of times I would have friends over on the two-player mode. We would just have a total blast with it. And I'm aware that this game doesn't have a great ton of reviews. But for what it is, it's a fun game to play. All right. So let's go into options. Now, I'm going to go to game level six. I've beaten the game many times on normal difficulty. And on level eight, it's almost impossible to beat. But level six... That should be a good enough challenge here. Um, I'll keep the time set uh, regularly. Used to, I used to always keep it on uh, Infinity, but I always had a lot of time on my hands, and this time I don't. So we'll just keep it at number nine. And right up the bat, you already noticed that uh, you only get two buttons in this game, which kind of sucks. And it always bugged me for the longest time. Even the standard three-button controller, it always bugged me that C never did anything with this game. You only got A or B with this one. Um... A is your regular attack, B it take, is your slower but more powerful attack, obviously. And interesting about this one, and maybe I'll be the first person to talk about this. Um, when you do the music test here, uh, number nine is an unreleased song. And this song that's in this game, or in the music test, yeah, I don't know if it's an alternate stage music. I don't know if it's the music to another stage that we were supposed to do that just never got completed in time. I don't know. But it's one of the best songs of this game, and it's not part of the game. So if you ever get a chance, um, go to pl play this game up and go to song number nine, and you won't get disappointed by the song on this track. But we'll exit, and then we're going to go into one-player mode. And for this one only, I'll show you guys the cutscenes, obviously. If you haven't seen them already, here you go. Interesting, it says uh, Bondora Palace on the thing right there. It doesn't say Rita's Palace. And also in the show, you never really saw the name Rita's Palace, but in the Sentai, it said Bondora's Palace. Uh, Bondora is the name of Rita in the sh Japanese show, by the way. Here you got a little shot of the villains. And uh, in this game, you only fight against Goldar. You don't fight against Rita or anything. So to the Game Boy game's credit, as bad as that game is, at least you fight against actual villain characters from the show. Um, even the Super Nintendo, you just fight against random monsters. You don't fight against any of the actual villains. So here's your character select screen. When I was a kid, I always was the Red Ranger um, for the first stage, obviously. And uh, then I'll, obviously I would switch to the Green Ranger when I unlocked him. Uh, but because I want to show you guys other Rangers, let's go with Zack for the first one. Mastodon! And uh, you should be impressed by the graphics. The graphics look pretty good for their time. Uh, interestingly, the Angel Grove stage looks like Tokyo, doesn't it? And uh, to play this game, it's pretty much, it's pretty much a Street Fighter game. So if you're good at Street Fighter, then you should be okay at this game. Because the Ranger gun that I'm doing is uh, a Hadouken. Uh, same controls as a Hadouken. Okay. And that one is the reverse Hadouken, I guess. And uh, I don't even know what he's saying here. Reggae battle? It's a reggae battle, man. Reggae battle, man. But my favorite attack with Zack is this. You uh, rapid tap, just like Chun-Li or E. Honda, and uh, he swings his axe around. That's my favorite attack that he does. Just get, I guess I'm just getting warmed up, because right now this guy's kicking my ass. I guess I can just shoot, I guess I can just keep shooting ranger guns at him. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you motherfucker. Dude. Okay, I'm already noticing something right off the back. The controls feel a little bit broken at the moment. I don't know if it's the game controller that I'm using, but uh, they definitely <laughs> are not responding to me right now, which is not cool. Oh, see if I do the B button, it's a faster attack, but it doesn't, for some reason it always lets go.
Come on, go ahead and dash. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, there you go. There we go. Love doing the battle axe. Ah! Fine. Eat some blaster. There you go. I don't. I can only think of a few episodes where the Rangers actually do use their their blasters. And there was the one where they got the super blasters uh, in episode Gung Ho. And yeah, here's Zack with the thing. I honestly think he should just be going one fist in the air, going black power, motherfucker. And just for this one, I'll show you the cutscene. But after that, no more cutscenes. So he grows, and you get to play as the Megazord. And yeah, even though I'm not talking, this is so you can see the cutscene, obviously. Man, as a kid, I'm thinking, man, this looks just like the show. This looks awesome. Feels just like the show. And you see these cutscenes every stage, the exact same cutscene every stage. So it's just like watching five episodes of the show. Now the Megazord, that's a Hadouken. Oh, come on. How did that not get him? Really? All right. I really got to... Come on. Step it up here. Really? Come on. No, I... For the longest time, I never understood what that bottom bar meant. Like, if it's fully charged. I don't know if it increases your attack power. I really don't know. Like, I just never paid attention to that bar enough. Come on, come on. Boom! Got him there. Music in this game feels just very much like the show. Obviously, one of my favorite things about this game is the soundtrack. Um, I would always uh, daydream in class and kind of hear these songs in my head all the time. I mean, if you wonder where I got my taste in metal from, it could have started from this game, to be honest. Now, if you can't really hear that because it's Genesis' voice, uh, they said justice is overcome. But like a lot of Genesis games, the voice bits or voice recordings were always terrible. But you just live with it because it's Genesis and Genesis is awesome. Now, as a kid, I flipped when I instantly saw the Tommy Green Ranger sprite right there. I'm like, wait, wait, the Green Ranger's in this game? Well, man, now I have to fight him. I don't want to fight the Green Ranger. I want to be the Green Ranger. And, you know, you just live with it. You're like, all right, I guess I'm going to have to beat the Green Ranger in this one. So here I'll go with Kimberly. And Kimberly is like Guile. Like that's that's a sonic boom I'm doing right there. And this one I could just do to him all day. Oh now you actually do something. Oh you miss me. There's that one disc Hadouken like attack that the Green Ranger does once in the entire series. And you never see him do it again. Well this game, even Even when you get to play as him, you can still do that attack, which is interesting. But uh, now you have to enter it, not to play as the evil Green Ranger to use that. Uh, to play as the evil Green Ranger in the multiplayer mode, uh, you have to enter a special code. Come on. Oh! Tommy, will you go on a date with me? Okay, now that I beat you up, Tommy, you're still kind of cute and you're a bad guy, but will you go on a date with me? Uh, no, never mind. I'm going to go out with Jason, because according to the new movie, I'm going to be in love with Jason now. Because I'm a Valley Girl slut. Okay, since this is the Green Ranger, I'll show you the animation here, because it's something new you haven't seen. You get to see the Dragon Zord rise out of the water, which is awesome. Yep, missing a roar right there.
Okay, well, we've seen that before. Now, I don't remember the Dragon Zord, uh, Megazord fight happening in front of a burning volcano, but hey, the background's awesome, the music's awesome, I'll, I'll just go with it. Yeah, I can do those too. Oh, well, I can't do that. Aha. Come on, I was hitting buttons first. Stupid hit detection. Come on, spam him. Just keep spamming him. Ah! Oh. I normally don't lose against the Dragon Zord. I normally can beat him pretty easily. But, okay, I guess I'll just have to beat Tommy again. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, what did I do there? Aha. Uh -huh. My blaster goes through your dragon dagger. Hey! Boy, it just looks like the actual show. Just them kicking the air. Now we just need them looking like they're in a seizure when they're talking. There's Tommy with the evil laugh. <laughs> Using the Hellfreed sword. Well, that's what it was called in the Sentai. I think in the show is Sword of Darkness or whatever. Okay. Kimberly, you got this. You you have Tommy's number, literally. So I think you should just handle Tommy right here. Tommy, you're not being nice to Jason. I told you, we're through. Haha. Uh -huh. You can wave your sword at me all you want. I'll just shoot my bow at you. Come on, Kimberly. You should be able to do that attack. Wow. Blaster just goes right through him. There we go. <laughs> I love doing that to him. As a kid, I never got the special moves down. I I don't even remember looking at the manual, which I probably should have done. So I just kind of had to figure them out as we go. But obviously, when you looked up the special moves online, you realize, oh, they're, they're exactly like they are in Street Fighter. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, now I'm going to... We should get the Dragon Sword this time. Hey! No! Dude! Come on, you gotta let me hit him there! There we go. See, I told you I can beat this game. Okay, one more cutscene, then I'll show you. So as a kid, I'm thinking, oh man, can I play as the Green Ranger now? Can I please be the Green Ranger now? So when I realized I actually can, I jumped for joy. I was like, yes, yes. Now as a kid, I always stuck with Tommy. I was always Tommy whenever I got to play as him. But in this case, I'm going to have to show you guys some other Rangers. So let's go with Trini now, who apparently is going to be gay in the new movie. Why? What's the point, really, honestly? I mean, I have said I'll I'll be okay with it if it's written well and there's a good reason by it. But if she's gay just for the sake of being gay, um, that's kind of that. I think that's stupid. An interesting shirt. Trini's attacks in this game, like one of her special attacks, is kind of like a Dalsim. Jump, uh, jump kick. This was the first move I figured out how to do as a kid. So I used to do this one all the time uh, to a bunch of friends when they came over. Yeah. Sit still so I can actually hit you. Oh, by the way, did you notice in this game tr uh, Kimberly has her skirt? And this is a really kick-ass background, but I don't ever remember seeing that in the show. In either show, to be honest. Yeah, back off, bitch. Like an annoying, you're like an annoying lady who laughs at every joke you say, even if they're not funny. But this is why I ramped up the difficulty, so I can have a, a challenge in this game. 
because if I kept it on normal, I'd go through this game in like 10 minutes. And that is a rapid tap. Uh, just like, just like Chun-Li or E-Honda. It's a cheap attack. You just get up close and do it, and you can just almost get him every time. Oh, you want to do? You want to see his uh, his special uh, disc attack that he only used once the entire show? There it is, right there. You just hold down the B button for two seconds. Only the B button, and only the, it doesn't work with the A button. Aha, dude. Yeah, I love how she blocks. She just covers her face. It's like, oh no, my image! I'm gonna fucking lose to her. Dude! Jump. I'm gonna fucking lose again. Wow. I don't know what's up with me today. It's like, oh no, I'm never supposed to lose to the Green Ranger. No! Dude, don't make me bring Kimberly back in the field. In fact, that's what I should have done, is I should have just stuck with Kimberly. Come on. Something has got to hit her. Yeah, see how much I see how much I can do. See how much I can do this. <laughs> Keep swinging the axe, Zach. Don't get dizzy. Don't get... Ah. Oh, there we go. Oh, no reggae for me. Fuck. There we go. Fuck, I think I'm lower on health. Cover my face. Cover my image. There we go. Come on. There we go. Come on, Zach. You got this. You got this. Boom. All right. But if I lose again, I'm going to go with Kimberly. Black power, motherfucker. Like, she's laughing at me. She's like, yeah, I know I'm going to win again. Because Coyote here... Coyote here is really sucking against me. Yeah, are you just going to do this forever, bitch? Fucking hit her. She's not that fast. There we go. Come on. Okay, stop jumping over my Hadoukens. You're not you're supposed to let me hit you with those. Fuck, she's gonna she's gonna catch up. Oh, come on, you were in mid-attack. How do you still block that? Come on, come on. There we go. Should get her this time. Ah, gotcha now. She's like, oh fuck. I lost, oh fuck. Okay, finally I got her though, so now we can move on to Goldar. Who sucks, who looks terrible in those previews. I will actually see this movie on the day it comes out, and I'll give you a review of it, my thoughts on it. I'm gonna go with Tommy again for this one. Yeah, great roar there, Goldar. Come on, I held it for longer than two seconds. There we go. Hey! You gotta hit both buttons to do that, I believe. Oh yeah, and Tommy has a Granger gun too in this game. Haha. <laughs> oh! Fucking love doing that. It's so... It's such a cheap attack, and I love doing it to him. Yeah! 
Fuck you, Goldar! I'm the Green Ranger! And the Dragon Zord, his main attacks suck because there's no range, but his special attacks are cool. See, look, he practically has no range whatsoever. What is this? Yeah, we're probably just going to keep doing this forever. I could see, I just keep doing this to him all day. Oh, now he's figuring me out. Now that attack I just did, you hold down the fear, the B button and he transforms into Dragon Zord battle mode and does that. So it makes me wonder uh, were they were they eventually were they actually planning on having him be a selectable Zord or was that just for that so Dragon Zord anyway? Cuz I would have loved to have played as him in that game. Cuz Dragon Zord battle mode was my favorite of um, all the main Megazord battles is when they got, went into that mode. And of course, here we go. The final boss of the game. And we're going to go with the Dragon Zord. Now here we go. Final final stage. It's on the moon in front of Rita's palace. Or in the Sentai, it's Bondora's palace. Now in the Sentai, uh, this is... Uh, monster was piloted by Bondora's long lost son versus piloted by Goldar in the actual show and uh, that floating head uh, Lothar I believe in the and Mighty Morphin is actually the fucking devil in the Sentai like he's actually called Great Satan And usually, usually the first stage, usually the first stage, I can always get him the first time. It's when he powers up for the second round that uh, he gets really, he gets really hard. Oh, and by the way, at least your health replenishes when he goes into his second form. Thank you, Genesis. Fuck you, Nintendo. So you're always wondering, man, when are the Rangers eventually going to go get Rita? And that, and of course, that never happened. Now, in the set side, they actually do go get Bondora in the final episode. Fucking hate that attack. See, in this in this state, you have to hold you have to hold the back button. Yeah, how do we both miss each other? Oh, he was going to do that. What? I was holding B. Fuck, I'm going to lose. I was holding B. Yeah, I'm trying to do the B attack, and it ain't letting me. And it, ugh. See, and that's the biggest problem with that stage is he always spans me with that attack. So you have to be holding back pretty much the entire stage. Otherwise, you could get you could get shocked twice, maybe three times with that attack because it is so cheap. But we're gonna go with the dragon sword again. Now, before I go, in the Sentai, they actually, uh, the Rangers do actually go into Rita's palace and go after Rita. Well, Bondora in the Sentai. But they don't go as the Rangers, they go after her in their normal warrior princess mode. So that's why there's no Sentai footage of the Rangers in direct contact with Rita. Because even in the Sentai, it never happens. Get this guy. Ah, you can't escape it. Well, there's another attack that the Dragon Zord does uh, when he launches a missile, but it's hard to do because you got to charge. You got to charge a diagonal button. You got to charge it for two seconds and then press the other one. See, I just did it, but it missed him. Let's see if I can actually get him. See, it missed him again.
There, now that one got him. Oh, got him in the air that time. Oh, got him with my tail. See? You constantly gotta be holding that button. Because he just likes to spam everything at you. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I could have done that. Guess I'll just keep spamming with Sonic Booms. That's how you do that, by the way. Sonic Boom attack. So if you know how to do a Sonic Boom in Street Fighter, you can do that attack. Now for the second stage. Here we go. Always hold the back button. That's why. Ooh, got him with the, got him with that one. Ugh. Yeah, I don't mind just spamming him with that. Ugh. See, keep holding that back button. This close to getting him. Ooh. And final attack. Got him. Interestingly, I normally have the hardest time with this guy, and I normally kick the crap out of the third boss. But this game, everybody's in, we're all different, I guess. So, uh, the game ends when they finally go into Titanus mode and they get to blast uh, Rita's palace with it. So it was always a fantasy of mine. Man, I can't wait for, until they finally get Rita Repulsa in the end. And of course, that never happened because the Sentai, they actually didn't do that. They actually let Rita, they just imprisoned Rita back in the, the garbage can, basically. Uh, just like they do in season two, but in the Sentai, they actually do it at the end. And here, little trivia, the Green Ranger at this point, by the time they actually do get Bondora, the Green Ranger at this point had died in the Sentai. And, but just like the Green Candle storyline, they still kept the use of the Dragon's Orb. So, there's your pretty much end credits there. So that was your glimpse into my childhood right there. I loved this game going up, growing up. I don't get why it got a lot of hate, uh, because it's way better than the Super Nintendo game. A lot of people who came over and came to play this game, even if they didn't like Power Rangers, they'd get curious, they put this on, they said, man, this game is so much better than the Super Nintendo version. So... Oh, and in anything, Sega does what Nintendo don't in this game because this has the Green Ranger. Fuck you, Nintendo, for not having the Green Ranger in any of the games. Now, if you have a request of any other retro game that I should do, please leave a comment in the, in the section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Coyote rants and other videos made by yours truly. I'm Desert Coyote 22 Thanks for watching.